गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट माइग्रेशन ऑफ बर्ड्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो माइग्रेशन इज अ पीरियडिक पासिंग ऑफ एनिमल्स फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर सो पीरियडिक because not throughout the year but birds migrate during a particular time of the year majority of birds have the inherent quality to move from one place to another to obtain the advantages of the favorable condition such birds are called migratory birds so this is inherent quality because they genetically acquire them some birds do not migrate and remain throughout the year in the same country such birds are called resident birds now migration occurs during the particular period of the year and the birds usually follow the same route they follow the same route now as a long distance migrant birds fly for several hours without food fat deposition takes place in them just prior to migration because we know that fat produces energy during flight okay now types of migration so there are different types of migrations in birds first we will talk about latitudinal migration so latitude so from the name itself you can understand that the latitudinal migration means the movement from north to south and south to north this is the most common migration type this is most common type of migration now during winter when the arctic regions become covered with ice and snow the residential birds they move towards south for their shelter so this is latitudinal migration this is the example of some birds of latitudinal migration next is the longitudinal migration so this is just opposite of latitudinal migration from the name you can understand that longitudinal migration means the movement from east to west and west to east so this is a, a common type of migration for many birds in europe in europe now next third type is the altitudinal migration so altitude means height now the altitudinal migration means the movement from mountain to plains and plains to mountain so we will give an example here in india many birds such as you can say common woodcock etc so many birds during summer what they do they migrate from plains to slopes of himalaya plains to himalaya during summer 
and they return to plains on the commencement of winter. So this is the example of altitudinal migration. Next is partial migration. So partial that means not all some of them. So sometimes within a species not all birds are migratory. Some migrate some not. This is known as partial migration. So example here red breast. Red breast finch etc. They are partial migrants. Next is erratic migration. So erratic migration that means when some of the birds disperse they just disperse they do not migrate you can say disperse they disperse to a short or long distance for what for their safety and food. So it is called erratic migration or it is called irregular migration. or it is called wandering migration. Now this type of migration occurs in great blue heron or cuckoo etc. Next is seasonal migration. So seasonal that means for a particular season they migrate. So some migratory birds are classified according to seasons. So I'm giving you an example here in Britain. There are some birds like swallows or cuckoos. They are summer visitors because they arrive in spring from south and remain there to breed and uh, leave for south in autumn. Some birds such as red wing, red wing, what they do? They are actually winter visitors. They are winter visitors as they arrive in autumn from north and stay throughout the winter and then fly north towards again in spring. So they are doing the seasonal migration. Next is modes of flight. So birds follow different modes of flight in migration. Here we will talk one by one. So first is time. Now most migratory birds either fly during daytime or nighttime. Now diurnal birds, they what they do? They fly mainly by day. They fly by day. Example here crows ducks etc. They are diurnal. They may stop to get their food to hunt in suitable places and then fly again. So they are diurnal birds now or diurnal migrants and next is nocturnal migrants. So what they do they prefer to fly at night. They prefer to fly at night to escape. Why? Because to escape from their enemies. It is easier to move at night because that time their enemies are not available. Now by flying at night what they do? They arrive at day. So then they take rest. They procure their foods and then they start flying again at night. So this is one thing that is the time of flight. Next is range range of migration 
so the range of migration it varies from few miles to thousand of miles in different species of migratory birds but the range it is actually constant for a particular species so range is constant for a particular species next is altitude height so some birds can fly they fly close to the earth some fly at altitude of 3000 feet of earth so some fly close to earth some fly at 3000 feet of art so this is variable next is speed so the speed of flight of migratory birds varies from individual to individual and species to species and it is affected uh, it is affected by some factors like speed of air and its direction the direction of air and birds generally travel faster during their migration than at any other time next is routes so routes of migration now the migratory birds usually follow definite lines of flight the route followed by them may be the same while going and returning back or may be different it depends that the to and fro direction would be same or different next is segregation so some birds uh, i will give you some examples like uh, kingfishers Some birds like kingfisher, they travel in separate companies. But some birds such as swallows or vultures, what they do? They travel in mixed companies of several species. So they prefer to travel at mixed company where different different species of birds are there all are migrating or all are moving so because why why they prefer because the similarity in the size or method of searching food etc so these are some factors that they prefer mixed companies and some flies some birds are there like kingfishers who prefer to migrate separately okay so one more thing that uh, in some species the male and female individuals travel separately so here male and female travel separately so what they do males arrive first and then they build nests and later the young birds accompany their mothers so females and their young birds come later so this also happens sometime okay next is order of migration so here basically during migration the birds follow a definite order normally the adults migrate fast fast adults migrate fast and they are followed by youngers now during the return flight the order becomes reversed that time the young birds start first and uh, they follow the same path which their parents had followed and their parents follow them so at the return time younger birds take the initiative and adults follow them so this is one more thing and uh, next is regularity 
regularity. So actually migratory birds are very much punctual. They show a striking regularity year after year. The timing of departure and arrival remains same. So they are very much punctual. Next is phenomena of migration. So some specific explanation uh, are there uh, that how avian migration occurs. So first we will explain topographic cues. Topographic cues that means topographic structures such as rivers, valleys, oceans, mountains, coastal lines, etc. They provide certain guidance in daylight. So this is one thing. Second is the experiences. So birds learn by experience. Some older members who have previous experience of migration, they become leaders to guide the younger generation. So this is one more theory. Next theory is magnetic field of earth. So birds migrate through response to the earth's magnetic field. That is one more theory. And next theory is that the position of sun and stars. Now position of sun during daytime and position of stars during nighttime helps the birds to migrate. Next is causes of migration. Why birds migrate? So several theories explain causes of migration. And here first is the environmental stimuli. So environmental stimuli such as uh, scarcity of food, decrease of daylight, increased uh, cold, etc. These excite a bird to migrate to the better suitable places and next is here gonadal stimuli gonadal stimuli that it the word comes from gonads so sometimes urge of migration occurs due to the maturity of gonads which instigate them to migrate towards their breeding places next is thyroid stimuli so certain thyroid hormones are there which regulate uh, the instinct to migrate. Next is advantages of migration. So advantages of migration include better climate, plentiful food supply, longer daylight, better space for breeding and nesting, opportunity for gene exchange with individuals of other parts of earth. So these are some advantages of birds migration. Next is disadvantages of migration. So there are many factors create, uh, create problem to the migratory birds such as the risk of predation, cold weather, snow storms, food shortage, fog, strong wind current, mountains, towers, big buildings, etc.